Hello and welcome. Our hike today is going to start from the Reeves Meadow Visitor Center. This is a really quite nice center. It's got a gift shop in it where you get ice cream and soda, t-shirts, maps of course. So really nice facility to have there. Behind the visitor center we have an information board that includes various pieces of information, most importantly a map as well. So you don't have to buy the map to get an idea of where you're going. This map shows us that we're starting at the visitor center on Seven Lakes Drive at the Green Arrow. Then we're going to be proceeding counterclockwise, moving down from the Green Arrow, loop around and ultimately get right back to it after about 5.6 miles. The hike is certainly rolling. There are very few flat sections. There is also one very steep downhill and another very steep and technical uphill. So to start, we're going to go to the end of the parking lot. And at the end of the parking lot, we're going to turn right and get on to the red trail. And the red trail will take for a very short period, maybe 0.15 miles until it intersects at the beginning of the blue trail. This hike you'll find has a lot of everything to it. We start off in a wooded section. We then move uphill and get to a higher elevation. I deem it the alpine section, which has scrubbier trees, shorter trees, and is a little more rocky. You'll find that this is Rockland County, and yes, it's got a lot of rocks. There are also some sections that are relatively smooth for Rockland County, but Overall, this has a fairly rough terrain, so you definitely want to have your ankles in shape as you're doing this hike. And if you're an aquaphile, you love water, this is definitely a hike you'll want to take. We've got various streams on here, from the small, tiny little running streams that are so picturesque, to the powerful roaring and rolling stream you'll find at the end of this hike. But that's not all, you'll also get some wonderful expansive views, so have your camera ready. Now we're at the point of the hike where we're shifting from the red trail over to the blue trail. See the red trail shifts to the right, but what we're going to see is three blue markers stacked on top of each other, and what that indicates is we're at the beginning of the blue trail. So we're going to turn left and then go up the hill. Five miles in at the intersection of the orange and blue trails. We're going to turn left and continue on the blue trail and climb up about 500 feet in 0.7 miles approximately. And with this climb we begin to exit out of what I call the woodland section into the more alpine section. And you'll see here from the markings that as we've remained on the blue trail the orange trail has looped around to join us. So now we're going to spend about a quarter of a mile on a combined blue and orange trail. At the end of this quarter mile, we're going to leave the orange trail behind and continue on the blue. And this area is really kind of tricky, so we'll definitely pay close attention as we get there.
level area on the combined blue and orange trail, we really want to start looking for that split between the blue, which will go off to our left, and the orange, which will continue straight. What we're looking for is a rock that's off to the side, a very large rock, and there it is. One thing we see is a very faint blue marker, but then seven hills. Follow that arrow, and then you're on the right trail. You will remain on the blue. If you go straight, which is very easy to do, then you'll be on the orange trail. As we go across the rocks, it can be fairly difficult to follow the trail, so make sure you keep a really close eye on it for those blue markers. Now at about 2.3 miles into the hike, we come up to a very steep and technical downhill. This is fairly dangerous, so you might want to take really close care as you go on down the section that I call the chute. From the bottom of the chute, we can look up and see exactly the terrain. Here the trail goes straight up the rocks pretty much, so it can be a little easy to lose the trail. Just make sure you're keeping an eye on those blue marks and you get to the top and as you walk along the trail you get these wonderful rewards. Here the blue trail we're on intersects the white trail. Now this is an opportunity if you're feeling really exhausted to go back to the parking lot. Just take a left here. The white will take you to the red trail and the red trail will take you to the lot. However, we're going off to the right and we're going to continue on the blue trail going up the infamous rock scramble of the blue trail. This is a climb of about 120 feet. It involves a little bit of hands in addition to legs, but at the end you get a nice great view of the whole valley around. From this great view, we duck back into the trail, always keeping the valley off to our left. While we've remained on the blue trail, the orange trail has come around to join us once again. We're going to follow this combined orange and blue trail for maybe about a hundred feet, and then we're going to see signs that the orange trail goes off to the left, and we will follow the orange trail and leave the blue trail behind. There is our double marker. The upper one points to the left, so there we go.
here the orange trail is joined by the red trail which comes in from our right we'll follow that joined trail orange and red for a short while and the orange will split off to the right as we continue on the red trail all the way back to the parking lot as the river provides such wonderful sounds we're going to allow this to be the soundtrack for the rest of the video thank you very much for watching <laughs>